All right, guys, gonna work on another breaker bar. This is an SK Wayne, but I like it because it's also an extension. Breaker bar extension. I'm hoping, looks like this thing's loose. Take it apart, maybe. All right, let's try something. Well, that came out pretty quick. Whoop, there's a washer. Oh, it was on this side, okay. No detent, no detent, huh? So maybe this thing is supposed to, let's see, maybe this thing's supposed to keep it from moving. Uh, there's some wear on this. And then, I've never had one of these apart before. I may have bit off more than I can chew. Gonna find out. Gonna, gonna, gonna find out. Let's just put this on the wire wheel and clean it up. I, shoot, I don't know if this is worth polishing as much. Being S and K Wayne, four, six, 41653 it's old so may not be able to bring this back to pretty we'll see we shall see let's go to the wire wheel to see what we can come up with This is the cleanup on the wire wheel. It did a really good job. Just a lot of surface rust. Now, boy, the knurling's really beat up. But, you know, as old as this thing is, probably 60, eh, probably closer to 70 years old since it's S&K, Wayne, uh, it's been abused. But, it's still a good tool. So I'm gonna do a light polish and see what it looks like. up I polished just the end of it and I wire wheeled this and I started putting polish on this but if you look real close it's a matte finish and man it started turning it dark so I'm gonna have to clean that off with some carb cleaner first I got I want to see how much oh yeah there's a lot of grease and trash down in here Flaking off. Just look at that. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. hangs on every little snag. I'm just making sure there's no burrs. I think there is. I think it's in really good shape. Now, now, I'm wondering Got to grab the pin. Well, maybe I did grab the pin. Duh, dummy. That fits in there like that. You know what I think is I think this spring-loaded little washer right here has lost some of its spring, some little, some of its little uh, umpy dump. Because I think that spring is supposed to be a little bit stiffer than that. can't bend that that's spring steel I wonder if I can get another another one this size wonder if you can put a nylon shim in there I wonder if you can get a nylon shim I'm thinking out loud here That's, that doesn't have much of a up to it. All right. Well, this, this one has to stop right here because I'm going to try to find a spring for that. I found that screw. I dropped this silly screw for that crescent wrench. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can't... Uh, come up with a uh, new spring for that somewhere. There's a place in town, Industrial Supply, sells a lot of this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's got a little play, but if I could put a nylon shim in there and raise this up just a little bit, that might even work. I don't know. I mean, it, I got what a buck in it or less, probably 50 cents. So it's worth to take a look at. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, get back on this tomorrow. Take this to work with me. And that way after work, I can stop by the industrial place. I think before I do that, though, before I lose anything, just stick it in there like that. Because you know darn good and well, if you don't put it back, you're going to lose it. All right. Oh, my hands are dirty. All right, let's see. Wait a minute. My hammer. No, my hatchet. It's not. I was. I'm making a hatchet video at the same time, trying to do a couple things at once, and that it's not cured good enough. We'll wait till tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, folks, I'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys. I, I don't know where I'm at in this video. It's been, been a while since I've been out in the shop, a couple days. I've got a spring, but it's a little big. So I'm hoping I can take the Dremel, 
Let's see the size of these two. And drill this out and make it fit. It almost works in this. I mean, we're, we're close. It's just a little, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm sure these are manufactured to a certain specs and I can't get anything locally. And I'm not buying a $12 case and still not be sure that I'm gonna get the right thing. So, what I am going to do is I'm gonna redneck it my way like I normally do. Oops, no, not gonna work. Let's tighten this down. See how this works. Can't hurt. big on the outside.
got it jammed on there. I need it to fit right. Oh man, we are close. I'm afraid if I push, if I get it in there and push it down, it might close in my. I'm pretty good. I'm I'm there. Let's uh, take it just a just a little bit more. Push it down. Well, well maybe that'll work. Let's try it anyways. Okay, that goes like that. Boy, that spring clip's got some spring to it now. <laughs> I think I may still be too big. Still be a little big. Would you know it? Now I gotta go up a little bit with it. too tight but it's working I, I'm confident that this is gonna work I am confident of my abilities yeah that's what it is it's I need to take some more off the outer outer ring all right I'll be right back I gotta go got some ribs on so I gotta go check them real quick I'll be right back all right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. But I ain't about to burn my ribs. It's just something you don't do. I make the vegetarian look bad because all I eat is meat. I can go weeks without eating a vegetable. Ah, come on. <laughs> I really need to buy me another Dremel, one with a variable. I only got two. I need more variable speeds. getting used to dropping things <laughs> oh well what can I say oh man we're close I'm wondering how 
really no way it looks like it fit on that side last time originally. are we? Come on. Let me put this over on the anvil real quick and tap it through because I can't get enough here. Be right back. I got it. And now it stays and it's stiff. I mean it stays in one position. <laughs> so it worked. I was either going to use a fiber washer and you know trim it down to take up space because this thing is lost this thing has lost some of its uh, I don't know how you call it the spring the flexibility of it the bend anyways I didn't have to because I got one and I filed it down with the and look at there I mean, it don't, it's, I wish I could show you guys or feel it, but it's, it stays in position where it needs to be. And I like it because it's an extension. So these are, these are handy. If you ever take manifold off of a 5.3 or the Dodge 5.7, Chevrolet 5.3, these things oh they work great they, you can get in there and turn the bolts with these look at that s and k wayne all right i have to happy camper all right let's see uh victor sauce while we're at it let's uh he gave me an idea of trimming this down and then notching it but i think i'm just gonna leave it See if this will work. Oh yeah.
I'll be back. I gotta go check the meat again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I went ahead and finished this off screen. What I did is I just ground it all the way off. I have to touch it up now with paint, but it doesn't have a burr or chip or anything there. Still works like a champ. Cool. Thank you, Victor. Victor Salas, S-A-L-A-S. He comments on my videos, I like this. He gives me good ideas. You know when you do something, sometimes you get tunnel vision. You only see one way of doing things. And I did, I wasn't even thinking about taking the head off or I, what I should have did is dress this head up first and then cut a slot in it and then put it in here with the thread locker. I wasn't thinking, you know, once you focus on something, you know, police officers and, and firefighters and a lot of, a lot of under stress, military too, you, when you see one thing, that's all you go for. And I wasn't paying attention and, and eh, but that's all right. It turned out all right. But this video is about this. I present you an awesome half inch drive. I believe it is 15 inches long. Well, I think they consider this 18. But S and K made made in the USA, and I believe it's a 41658. that cleaned up nice and all I did was polish the end right here and right here the rest of it has like a matte finish on it cleaned up really good and as soon as I hit it with the buffing wheel it started turning black and I think it's because of all the depressions in there it it, it the, all the compound just went right into those holes those those depressions so I cleaned that off I mean the knurling this thing's been used. I mean, think about it. This thing's been around 60, maybe 70 years. It's got a, it's got a half inch drive for an extension, so you can use this bar as an extension. But that is cool. I'm, I'm, I get, guys think I'm crazy, but I get tickled over good tools, good used tools. I don't have any money, hardly involved it, invested in it. I got maybe, I don't know dollar I think in that spring those springs are expensive believe it or not I think I got like a dollar ten in that little spring uh, I think the fiber washer was just about as expensive anyways a uh, couple bucks I'm happy and then uh, along with it I fixed my wrench got rid of that ugly screw now I got to touch it up but anyways ladies and gentlemen subscribe hope you like my video I hope I don't sound like an idiot in my videos. I try not to be, but what the hell am I, man? I say things sometimes I probably shouldn't. Anyways, y'all have a good evening. Enjoy, and uh, I'm going to eat some ribs. Bye.